And if we as black people decide that we are going to respect ourselves, and this is one of the things that has happened to black people in the 500 years of our oppression, including the phase of slavery, formal slavery, is that black self-respect has been completely annihilated. And so, you know, we say, okay, I forgive, I forgive, and then we take the pain and frustration out on each other. It's just like in South Africa, truth and reconciliation. So the people who brutalize black people are allowed to go unpunished. But the pain that is inside of black people goes out towards one another. And the system of racism, white supremacy, continues. So I am making the recommendation for black people's mental health that black people take the position that all of the all of these things that we are dealing with the killing of black men every week every other day the incarceration of black men the unjust sentencing uh gentrification, the removal of black people from urban centers across this country, that all of this is the face of racism, white supremacy. And black people have to take the position. We're not going to be in the position of saying we forgive. No, what we're going to insist upon is number one, that racism, white supremacy as a total system structure be recognized. And number two, when that system has been brought to an end and replaced with a system of justice, then the consideration of forgiveness of that, that won't even be in order. Because the system of injustice will have been removed and a system of justice established. Now, that's my position as a black psychiatrist, and I would say that I'm certainly recommending that as important for black people's mental health in this system, that the foundation of the position is that we are going to have respect for ourselves second to none. And instead of denying and making apologies for the system of racism, white supremacy, that we are going to hold people who classify themselves as white, because the only reason for the white classification is to take advantage of the established and structured system of racism, white supremacy, and that we are going to hold people who classify themselves as white, responsible. We're not going to spend any time hating white people. But we are going to hold every person who classifies him or herself as white responsible for changing the system. If they want to take a position that they're not racist, well, then stop the people who classify themselves as white, who are. Don't come and join black people. Take the John Brown position and stop the people who are engaging in the practice of racism, white supremacy. And, you know, that's not just calling somebody nigger or the N-word if you want to play euphemisms. But, no, the system of racism, as stated by Neely Fuller, functions in all areas of people activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. 